Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I think I got something on your face there. I'm still there. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little different today. I got uh, Ella. Ella, where'd you go? Hi. I got Ella with me today. We're going shed hunting. Hey. So we decided to give Jen a break and bring Ella out to the bush. She's been cooped up for the past week since school's been suspended. By the coronavirus. By the coronavirus, you're right. So anyway, I thought I'd bring her out to the bush. I'm on my day off. I do have to go to work tonight. However, I thought we'd uh, get her out and burn some of the stink off. I guess that would help if I told you where we're at. We're at the Two Creeks Conservation Area, just uh, on the edge of Wheatley, about 15 minutes from our house. And there's always deer here, I mean always. Probably no less than 100 at a time, so hopefully we're gonna come across something other than mud holes. I knew it was going to be a little wet, but I didn't think it was going to be this wet. And Ella and I... Uh, My well, feet literally just about got stuck. We got stuck uh, there. no boots. Zero prepared for this. Have a look at this. That's how muddy it is. <laughs> and all the water. That's all the water. And we don't and we have We want to go boots. up this way. Okay. So I'm literally walking at like on the point of, at the edge yeah, of the stand point. Stay on the left side there. You're grunting and groaning like you're working. All you're doing is walking. Oh yeah, because I'm actually walking on a pipe. <laughs> I'm not joking. I all right guys, with all the water out here, we're having to walk on some main trails. We're not really able to walk on the deer trails. We're, we're looking the best we can, but there's so much water and we're so unprepared. And, and my shoes are literally soaked, both of us. Like, my shoes are soaked, my socks are soaked. The inside of my shoes, my shoes are totally soaked and so are his. Her mother's gonna kill me. <laughs> She's not gonna kill him. <laughs> Don't count on that. All right guys, I got a pro tip for you. When you're out shed hunting, pay attention and don't straddle this. Brought to you by not paying attention and straddling that. Oh, that'll leave a mark. So far, it's a lot of mud, a lot of water. We're wearing running shoes. And I don't know how far we're gonna get to go. But we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. At least we're outside by ourselves. Uh, Ella's down there keeping her social distance from me. Trying to stay somewhat dry. We'll keep looking, hopefully we'll find something. We did not find anything, but Alan's shoes are soaked, as you can see. His shoes are soaked. And so are the socks and so are the feet. So we're going to head back to the truck. We'll keep you tuned. 
All right, guys, we made it back to the truck. We did not find anything. But we did find mud puddles, water. And lots of mud puddles with water in them. Thought I just said that. And we did find a deer bone. Yeah, but my father wouldn't dare to pick it up, so I didn't either. Not sure why she wanted to bring a deer bone home. Anyway, all we ended up with was wet feet. You can't really walk on the deer trails here because they're all covered in mud. So we couldn't really search that well. We had to stay on the main trails and we actually had to take the road back. Only because we're already wet and cold. Unprepared. All right, let's head back home and get some coffee. All right, folks, we made it back home with the coffee bar. As you can see, we did not get any sheds. Didn't matter. We got out. We got out some fresh air. Ran through the bush, got our feet wet, a little muddy. Just another good day. As I said, back here at the coffee bar, I'm going to make myself, I think I might make myself a nice pour over. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. There's not a whole lot in this. I get it. Uh, we are pretty limited as to what we can do here. And uh, I'm hoping to get out fishing pretty soon. And maybe I'll take Ella with me and see if we can get some crappy. Because they're running. So that's all I got for today's video, folks. I know we're all cooped up inside. There's no problem with stepping out. Just keep your distance and have a good time. And uh, try and clear the old mind a little bit. I got a lot of space in there to clear. I'll see you on the next one. Later. First time shed hunting. I've never shed hunting before. I've never, ever done it. I've been to this place before. Like for like a walk around with me and my parents. But we... Never, me and my dad never done this. You done? Yeah. <laughs>